Hey guys, so it is Monday of week three. Um, listen, I purposely film myself when my hair isn't done and I have no makeup because this is what I'm actually like. Like if I went upstairs and done my hair and put my makeup on, that really wouldn't be who I am or what I'm trying to depict in this whole vlog thing. Um, so the whole point is I'm trying to put out reality, okay? So not everyone is always done up. There are some people out there, they've got that time, but I don't really want to fill up my time with doing makeup and hair all the time. So yep, yeah, this is me. And this is little Mackenzie. Say hi. <laughs> so this is gonna be a fairly busy week. Um, last week wasn't too bad, but this week is gonna be pretty full on. Um, so this morning we woke up and our whole house has leaked which is fantastic. We had water dripping through the light. Um, the actual light from in the kitchen. So that sucks balls. So we're gonna have to get that sorted. Um, there has been fairly heavy rain consistently for the past two days, but it has now stopped. So I hope that it means the leaks will stop, but we need to get it sorted. Postnatal program today. I've got a big log session again today because it's Monday. Um, and then we've got to go out to the shops and get a little mic pack some food. <laughs> Show me your teeth. <laughs> yep, and that's it for today. Hey. Oh, that's cute. Oh. I can see your little teeth. Ah, oh, he's punched me in the bus. <laughs> okay. uh, my sessions are very extended now compared to what they were prior to pregnancy. Um, I am still getting big dumps of the hormonal laxin, which has unfortunately brought up a few old shoulder injuries. So it's super important that I put time and effort into warm-ups and mobility. So I spend quite a great deal of time prior to loading my shoulders doing warm-ups and mobility. Um, Mackenzie doesn't want to sleep at the moment, but I am really, really lucky that I am in my garage and I have an open door and I have direct view of her. Um, so if she becomes too unsettled, I just go to her straight away. So one thing that has really, really helped my mindset, um, and I'm going to be straight about it, that's probably only happened in the past maybe month or two, um, is I go into my training session with Mackenzie as number one. So if she's unsettled, I have to go to her straight away, and that is just part of what it's going to be like from now on. Um, at the start, I used to get really quite irritated that I had to leave what I was doing to go attend to her. But now I've done this kind of shift in my brain, which makes it a little bit easier that, you know, I expect a whole bunch of interruptions because that's mum life. Like everything you do gets interrupted now. Um, and I just have to learn to deal with that. So um, we'll see how we go. Um, she's currently playing with her toys and stuff at the moment. So fingers crossed she stays settled. But if not, then I just go so I just found this shirt that I haven't worn before. Do you reckon it's inappropriate to wear this to baby yoga tomorrow? Namaste, bitches. <laughs> okay, so it's a, like literally an hour and a half since I did the last video as saying how I was warming up for my session. <laughs> um, and I got a phone call about some study that I'm doing. Um, so I had to take that and then I got sidetracked with everything <coughs> um, and I've had to attend to Mackenzie a few times so I've come back now it's like an hour and a half later so Mackenzie's due a feed probably within the next half hour so I'm going to try my best to see if I could quickly smash out these at least these log press um, reps and then I'm going to have to feed her and then try and come back and finish the rest of my program um, but yeah we'll see what we can do <laughs> I find this today a little bit tough, I think because my mindset's just a little bit scattered, it's all over the shop, just we're going in and out of the house all the time, but, you know, a rep to a rep, right? So I'm almost finished this training. I'm just doing farmers now. Uh, it's a little bit tricky doing event training on your own, but I always have done um, event training on my own, even when I was in Townsville. 
um, for like six years. I kind of set everything up. I kind of used it as a warm up, like getting all the weights and stuff sorted. So it's a bit humid and a bit gross in Canberra, but we're getting it done. Almost done. Little Mac Pack is sleeping. Um, but when she wakes up, she'll be super hungry. So I'm gonna quickly do this um, and then go in and feed her. Okay, so my session got cut short uh, because Mackenzie needed some food. So I went and did that. Um, so now I am just trying to find some shoes. Um, now Kev has came home, it's 20 past 6, um, Kev's came home, so I'm going to do the rest of my session, which is just the stinky old conditioning salt bike uh, interval training, which I hate, so I've had to build up a little bit of willpower to do this, but yeah, it only takes 20 minutes and then it's done. Right, it's 20 past 9, Mackenzie went to sleep and has woke up again um, and I am about to start doing some of my exams and hopefully it doesn't take too long but Mac Pack is down there with Dad, currently not sleeping. Okay, so it's Tuesday, it is 20 to 3. Um, this morning we had our first session of the term for baby yoga. Um, Mackenzie's a little bit more mobile now, so it's a little bit more fun to have her there. Um, we, I can kind of incorporate her a little bit more, and it's heavy yeah. with a woman seven kilo baby. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was good fun. Um, and then I decided to go to a different shopping centre in Canberra that I haven't been to before, and I went and had coffee with Lord Mackenzie. So I'm just trying to do things that are kind of out my comfort zone and making use of Canberra while we're here, because we're not going to be here forever. Um, so back home, so today it's rest day from training. Um, I did do yoga this morning and I'm going to do a walk later on, hopefully with Kevin. Um, he's coming home a little bit later again tonight. Um, but if not, me and Mac Pack will go for a little walk. Um, so, yeah, today is just cleaning the house, sorting things out, um, getting food prepared and stuff for when I am at work. I'm working all through the weekend um, and I'm going to mow the lawn because I'm excited because there's green grass there, so I want to make it look all pretty. Um, yeah, that's it. And focus on my post name program. Hey, so it's Wednesday um, and it is midday. So Mac Pack got up pretty early. Um, so she was a little bit grouchy. I just gave her her second bottle and she fell asleep. So I popped her in a cot for a little nap. I don't know how long she's going to nap for. Um, but this morning I've been out in the garden, I mowed the lawn, um, just done some stuff around the house, been sorting out my postnatal um, qualifications and I am now about to quickly shoot off and start training. So I'm going to start warming up now, hopefully Matt Pack stays asleep, if not, well then I go to her. Um, but yeah, I've got axle deadlift session today, so um, hopefully it goes alright at Cairo later on today. Oh my god! <laughs> so this week's vlog has been boring as batshit. I do apologise. I've just forgot to record because I've been busy doing stuff. Um, it has been a busy week. So it is Thursday. I've got work today. I am taking a rest day off. Um, my body is really hurting from loading it heavy and being in movement patterns that hasn't been in for a long, long time. Um, I've still got ongoing issues and this has been happening since Mackenzie's been born. I've got, I had really bad banding pain around the top of my abdo. Um, I went to the Cairo yesterday and, um, my diaphragm was not activating the way it should be. So he did some pretty aggressive, really sore treatment where he kind of got underneath the diaphragm. Um, and it's loosened, <laughs> it's loosened things up a little bit. 
so my breathing is a little bit more smoother I don't have to kind of like force it down now which is what has been happening for almost the past seven months and it's been very painful um, so that's very very tender but it's helped a bit with my breathing <laughs> yeah so today I'm just gonna do it washing dishes the basic shit and I'm just gonna sit and chill for a couple of hours that's not gonna happen <laughs> But I'm just going to chill for a little bit um, and then go have a shower, get ready for work. Kev will come home and then we'll tag team little Mac Pack. And yeah, that will be my day, working till midnight. Hey, it's Friday. Um, so I haven't videoed a lot of stuff this week because I've been busy doing things. Um, but today I am going to do a good condition session. It's quite a solid condition session. Um, nothing too heavy because I have events training tomorrow but today I'm just going to do this condition session then I'm going to spend some solid time with Mackenzie I'm still trying to work out this mum life work life training life home life cycle um but if I kind of piss everything off for a couple of days and just spend some solid time with Mackenzie I feel a little bit better so I'm still trying to work it all out it's just a big juggling act um, no one's perfect, it's all a work in progress, so I'm trying my best. Um, but yeah, quick conditioning session, obviously I'll have a shower, get things ready for work, get everything ready for a little mat pack, and then we're going to sit down and have some solid playtime. So this is supposed to be a quick session. <sighs> it's fucked. <clears throat> What's the fuck I want to vomit the ruin? Fucking seven. Seven is a shitty number today. Seven rounds, seven cows on the bike, seven push-ups, seven pull-ups, seven cleans. Spicy. So this little munchkin came to a little doorway in a little walker, smiling and giggling, and I've decided that the next three rounds could go stuff themselves. I've got more important things to do. I'm going to take a little Mac pack for a walk, and we're going to go to the park. Okay, so we're back from the park. Um, we lasted about 40 minutes, which is pretty good because we walked down to the park, had a little play around on the swing, and then walked around the lake and came back. Um, so she's fast asleep now. And sweat. So I'm going to quickly have some lunch while she's sleeping um, and then she'll wake up, be ready for lunch. And hopefully I could try and squeeze in a shower in between then. Um, if not, I'll just have to wait till I've fed her and then um, get ready for work. But yeah, do you know what? Like I do this all the time. Like going outside in the sunshine helps me so much. Like it's just like, it's so good being out in the sun, and I sometimes I forget that, and then when I go for a walk, I'm like, oh, I need to do this every day, but then I just kind of get caught up in the cycle of everything, and I forget about it, but I really need to make it almost mandatory in my life that I go for a walk at least every two days, I just get out in the sunshine, because it's, oh man, it's just so good for the soul. <laughs> 
and Mackenzie loves it as well. It's new surroundings for her, you know, we get to see things, we stop, have a little look at the birds and the ducks and yeah, get outside. All right, so I normally have an omelette somewhere throughout the day, nearly every day, and I put chives on it. My chive plant's fucking out of control and I'm pretty interested to see what it's like today. Take me to your leader. Have a look at that. Jesus. Okay, so it's early Saturday morning and I had to work late last night. Um, but I have a Cairo appointment today, so this was the only one that was available without having to take a child with me. So I'm going to go there. And since I'm up so early and everybody else is still asleep, I'll probably go do the weekly shop. Just get in, get out. Um... But yeah, and then I've got work a little bit later on. Might as well take the fun car. Okay, so it's Sunday um, and I've got work today. Um, early, I finished work late last night and didn't get to sleep until pretty late. So I've had a really shitty sleep. And I came home to find out that our house right up there has leaked. This house has had ongoing issues since we moved in. And I'm just fucking sick of it. We had light pouring, we had water pouring from the bloody light the other day in the kitchen. And now we've got water pouring down our walls. So tomorrow there's going to be a very stern call. Try and get it sorted. If it was just me and Kev, I probably wouldn't bother. But because there's Mackenzie, shit's about to go down. Anyway, I've got work till 4, 4.30. Um, and then we might go to some children's concert thing called Pop Goes the Weasel for Mackenzie. But we'll see where we're all at at 4 o'clock. So hopefully today is a good day at work. It's stopped raining um, and lots and lots of caffeine today. Hey guys, so the end of week three... Um, this week went all right. Nothing too majorly exciting happened. I uh, finished on my training program. Um, I move into my next phase next week, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm working. Kev's working. Matt Pack's doing fine. I hope you all had a good week, and we will see what next week holds in store.